Hey, how's it going guys? Demon Driver here. This is part three of our Emirates 777 build, 9X, 777-9X. And what, we're, what I'm doing tonight is I'm going to hot wire out the tail section um, or start on all three tail sections. It's incredibly cold tonight. If I can get one done, I'll be happy. And uh, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to also, on this video, show you how you use a razor to start to preliminary, preliminarily cut the nose, how you use a razor to start cutting the nose before you sand it. Okay, I'm going to show you all the steps and how you cut and what you do to your nose section and eventually tail section and any other hot wired foam part that you want to use a knife before you start to sand. The knife will help you remove excess foam you don't need and it saves you a lot of time. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. And thank you for joining me. And I'm very grateful. Let's get working. All right, let's get started here. We've got the Emirates nose, 777 9X nose. My neighbor's dog is barking right now. I love him. He's such a good guy, such a good dog. What are you going to do? I'm a dog person, so I love, I love dogs. But Sometimes they bark. No section. For this video, you're going to need a razor. Um, two types of razors. What I call uh, actually the medium size, or a half inch, and then a quarter inch. Um, it's two types of razors. As you can see, you have a what I call a half inch and a quarter inch, and they're pretty effective. Pretty effective razors and I use these to cut into the foam. Now before we do this I want to show you something. Before we do this I want to show you a way I prep the nose of our 777-9X here, our Emirates 777-9X. But you know what? You can be building whatever you want. You can use this technique on any RC airliner you're building, you might be building an A350 or an A300 or a BAE, uh, you know, 146 or something like that. It, it's all up to you. But what I'm going to do is, when I cut with the razor, when I cut with the razor, I want to cut the corners here, 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 and here, right? I want the corners to cut, to be cut and trimmed to match the curvature of the circle that is the 777's uh, cross sections of its fuselage. If you look at the 777, it's very similar to the 767 in the sense it's very curved. It's a very, very curved um, nose section very curved. So we have to maintain that curve. Well, there's also something we don't want to do. We don't want to cut into the profile of the nose. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's what I call a circumference or an outer circumference. Look. Here, 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 and here. North, south, east, and west. You don't want to cut into that part, but you want to, we cut away these areas. We're going to do the same thing in the nose. So, let me show you what I mean. What we have here is a, uh, a paint pen. Now, I hope this isn't frozen because it's it's incredibly cold here in South Carolina. See, it's, it's freezing. We're south of the Mason-Dixon, but it's freezing right now. Go figure. Let me see if this thing's even working right now. Yeah, it's working. Good. This is what you call Klondike uh, <laughs> Alaskan building right here. You've heard of the Alaskan shows. Well, this is like freezing scratch building while you're freezing. Okay. We want to draw a line from here, from the tip of the nose, all the way to the back. Okay. And the reason being, we don't want to cut into that line. Do you understand? Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take this ruler. 
and I'm going to draw a line. This marker, I, with my eyeballs, I mark off the middle, right there. All right, mark that off very gently. I take a full battery. That old battery right there. Find the middle here. Looks like a big cigar. <laughs> and I take a ruler and I mark off the middle on here. It's right about there. All right? You see what I'm doing? Does it make sense? You see in this? Okay. I take my long aluminum ruler. It's bendable. All right. Take it. Place this down here like that. And I take a ruler. Yeah, that's not heavy enough. I got two down here. It's so cold right now. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm freezing my ass off. Freezing. I lived in the Northeast for most of my life, so I can, I can, I can cope with this. It's not that bad, but uh, some people just can't deal with it. All right, hang on. I gotta stop this from. I gotta stop this from pitching down. So I stick that. I'm telling you, old batteries, old 18 volt batteries, These come in handy when you're scratch building. They really do. All right, I take this. Right? right? I bend this down like that, and I take this pen, and I draw, I draw on the here a line. All right? There's the line. It's a little bit, it's a little bit off. Hang on. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. We're gonna get a little bit more back on the on the path here. That's <sighs> reason my ass off. But you kind of understand what I'm talking about, do you? You just kind of see what I'm doing. The question is, do you know why I'm doing it? Well, it'll become pretty apparent in another second. All right, now. I'm going to flip it over and do it again on this side, on the bottom. This is the bottom. Right. Draw a line. Right there. All right. Doing the same thing over again. Draw a line. Now, you might see this black marker and you would say to yourself, well, Chris, why not use this black marker? There's a reason. This gray paint marker is a lot better because if I use a black marker, it's going to put an ugly black mark in the white fuselage. Now this is going to be a white Arab Emirates, uh, United Arab Emirates Airlines. That was a big firework. We just had the 4th of July and people here are still... That was a big explosion. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Who cares? Alright, let's keep building. This mark is going to put too dark of a mark into into that. I don't want to do that. So I'm using this gray uh, paint marker instead. So you kind of get what I'm you get what I'm doing right, right? This line is the line I don't want to cut into. So I'm putting this line here so I know not to cut into that line. Just on the corners. Understand? Now if you see what I'm doing here, I got this tarp here. Lay this part down the ground. So you can see why. I 
lay this top down because as I prepare to cut, right, the foam falls on the tarp and then it's easy to gather it up and pick it up. That's what I do. All right, let's begin. Okay. Oh my God, it is freezing. It is cold. All right, we got a dog barking. That's okay. All right. You see the lines that we drew? This is our triple seven nose. You see the lines that we drew? Those are what are called circumference lines. These are the lines we don't want to cut into. We don't want to cut into these lines. We don't want to cut those lines. Just the corners. Here, 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 and here. The same thing with the tail section. Once I hot wire that, once I freeze to death and hot wire that, I'll do the same thing. Same thing also with the engine nacelles. Any round um, styrofoam piece that you cut, you have to cut away any kind of excess foam that makes a square, and you don't need it, you gotta cut it away. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We start with the corners. All right? Always cut away from you. And I'm standing, I'm standing over the tarp. So all the foam hits the tarp, and I'll make a mess. Huh? Alright, let's start. Just cut little pieces out make sure the blade, the razor, is sharp. You'll know when it starts to get dull. As it gets dull, it starts to pull chunks out, what I call jaggies. And you, you can tell, the more you use these, you start to get a knack for when it starts to get dull. It, it pulls chunks of foam out. It's not doing its job. It's not cutting. It's kind of smashing the foam. See what you do is you eyeball it, look at it, and see that you make sure that you're cutting, you're doing what you need to do. start on the top side. Now, you don't want to go too far in because you, you don't want to hit the, uh, the flight deck windscreen. This is where the flight deck is going to be right there. So you want, you want to be really careful how you cut in this area in here. The neighbor's dog walking around next door. <laughs> there you go. See? And this cuts up this this saves us a lot of time when it comes down to sanding. This is a lot of time. I'm going to do the same thing on that side. Hot wiring out the Emlex 7779X tail. 
exactly like I did in the last video, in video, in build video two. Same thing. And I'm cutting up the cross section. Cut it from this direction. I'm using the longer bow here with this cut. I have two bows. I have a short bow and a long bow. Ah. <sighs> well, there you have it. Went ahead and hot wired out a uh, Triple seven nine X tail section for the Emirates Triple Seven Nine X. About one hour to make that. Pretty big, huh? There you go, here's the here's the shortest. That's the that's the short the short super short triple seven. <laughs> But you see what this amazing tool can do, this hot wire bow, you can do so much with it. I really love this tool. It's a great tool for hot wiring. But with the razor, as you can see, I went ahead and I used the razor to cut the corners like that. And then I can come in, I can come in with the sanding tools, sanding pads, the mouse sander, um, motorized sander and then I'll sand and shape the triple seven nose section and what I did here with the razor I'll do the same thing on the tail section and I'll do the same thing on the uh, engine nacelles the engine cowls and uh, and that's how you basically pre-cut your nose and tail section before you start to sand well I'm freezing my ass here I'm freezing my ass off here and uh, I'm going to get inside, have some coffee or some hot chocolate or something, get warm. And uh, no, I'm not in Canada. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. So go figure. It's just, we're having a cold spell. But uh, this is the 777-9X build part three. Um, part four is coming up hopefully soon. And we'll start sanding in that part. And maybe we'll get some more technical information or technical data about the 13 foot 777-9X and the 11 and a half foot 8X that I'm building. Okay? Steven Driver, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.